establishment. My name is Stinks. They call me the world's most famous plaything. Sitting next to the one and only Steven Platinum back in the building. How are you, sir? I'm doing really great, Sticks. And you are looking dapper and great as always. The Lethal Lottery, you're going to have to walk me through this. I knew we had some things happen last time that's going to factor in this time. Oh, it looks like we got... Hail, hail the gang's all here, Sticks. Everybody's here, Lethal Lottery. You saw those those matches last last show where Mikey Spandex pulled off a win and then Madison, of course, pulling off the win in the women's match. They are both able to pick their tag partner in the Lethal Lottery. The rest is up to the luck of the draw. It is absolutely chaos. It is the finest thing in wrestling. A throwback to the old WCW days, if you will. This is the establishment the Lethal Lottery divide and conquer, and this is what we're going to see here tonight. Is Mercedes Martinez indeed here? I know that was the selection as the partner. I just can't believe it. Listen, I know the phone rang. I don't know who answered it or what the response was. We'll have to wait and see here later in the night. I heard tell there was a big star in the building. I thought they were talking about me. Oh, oh my goodness, Sticks. I, I have no uh, doubt they were talking about There she is. Look at Mercedes Martinez is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable star, independent wrestling Hall of Famer at the establishment. You can tell who the most dangerous person in the room is by who everybody else pretends they don't see. That part. Absolutely. Waiting on the drawings here. These drawings so important, Sticks, because right now, they don't have control of their destiny. They don't have a choice, but you gotta play the hand that you're dealt. Ladies and gentlemen of the establishment, welcome to Divide and Conquer Lethal Lottery. to your executive champion. How? He is still. The Gucci Man. There we go. He is the Versace Prince. He may also be known as the Don of Louis Vuitton. Custom made, baby. Custom made. And he is your boss man, ladies and gentlemen, Blake Banks. With the belt his daddy paid for, the boss is in the building. What an intro. Let's give it up for my man, DMZ, one time. Come on, huh? Yeah. Let's give it up for the chat. Show some respect. Show some respect. You blow it because you broke. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the establishment. You heard me and see, right? I am your boss man, Blake Banks. Now listen, I'm a little confused, all right? I miss one show in, and everything gets chaotic out here. I don't know what's going on. We got we got new tag team titles coming. I ain't ordered any tag team titles. You ordered tag team titles? I ain't ordered any tag team titles. Florida Tag Team Championship. There's new, there's new, there's new, there's new, And if you saw why Space Boy isn't here, you would be as appalled as Sticks and I. His name is Aaron Nova, the captain, no longer with us here at the establishment. As you hear the Space Boy chants. Rest in peace, the one and only. 
Solar Space Boy, aka hey, Aaron Nova. Man. I know we have problems in the past, but man, you all right. I knew I had you. Alright, alright, alright. 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 Alright, alright, alright.
guy had the most eliminations in the Battle Royal last year. Absolutely right. Did what he had to do. Came away. The winner took a beating for it. From all angles, Task Force and the Boss Man, the Don of Louis Vuitton, the Gucci Mane, are going to make their way out with that store-bought belt. A lot of great-looking wrestlers. Promises a lot of great-looking action coming up. We've got matches. We've got a main event set. We've got another tag match set. We got wrestlers that already have personal issues ready to go. You got Caesar and Devlin against Mercedes. Wait a minute. Hey, I know damn sure you are not going to bring OTS Project all the way out here and play like food. You're not going to sit here and have a lottery and leave a cabinet. I would understand. I would understand if we were the marquee. But we are not the marquee. We are all OTS Project. We are the best tag team. Kyle Kimmins laying down the law. Casey by loss, we did. I like that. I like you make your challenge, you set the match yourself. That's how we do it in the establishment. No BS, no running away. You want a match, you got a match, but you got to step up, show, and prove wins well, matter here. The establishment is a business. We run this like a business. We are the executive business. Oh, the king of Florida throwing hands. Starling with that rock type. He's got to be careful. He has a match later. Against Dan Lacey, he better, he better calm down. OTS project. Backing everybody up. We gotta have some decorum here. As I was saying, the establishment is a business. When you make a business deal, you better be ready to pay for it, and that's what this is here. A deal to be signed on the dotted line of violence right inside that ring. Shirts off, it's about to get serious. That's what I like. I don't think we're going to see a lot of cravats in this match. No. I think somewhere between technical matchup and all out brawl, we're going to be closer to the latter we'll than the former. Slapping around here. Looks like Elias AK 47 starting for OTS. Tyler going to try to avenge the memory, the legacy, excuse me, of Aaron Nova, a.k.a. Space Boy. 47 backs him in the corner. Tyler gets a slap to the face for trying to do the right thing. Listen, you know how I feel about rules. You know how I feel about sportsmanship. It is a bendable, pliable state of mind, if you will. I think when a man slaps you in the face, no matter how short he is, you slap him back. Nice strong tie up, center of the ring here. Tyler. Slap it right up. There it is. There it is. I like to see that. Right here, I like to see that a lot. In CBS, they call that a receipt. Nice go behind, side headlock applied. Tyler in control. Off the ropes, went for a close, I got tripped. Here 
here comes Cam with the basement drop kick to the side of the head cover. OTS project in trouble there. You see Kidman on the outside trying to bark first. Starling in chaos mode. Quick tags. OTS project working like a team. Cam Stewart is so quick in that ring. He continues. I talked to him earlier. Sticks, and he was saying how he has lost weight, slimmed down, looks in the best shape since I've seen this yeah, young man. About 30 days, he said he lost about 10 pounds. That's good stuff. That's a nice steady rate of decline if you're trying to burn fat and maintain muscle mass. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Forgive my kinesiology and fitness degree. Oh, nice roll up. High stack. Foot close on gets caught. Going for a backslide. There it is. Come here. And a kick out. Picks him up, drops him down, a tiny drop. Blind tag, here comes Tyler. Double team. Double drop kicks. Those are gorgeous drop kicks. Beautiful, I can do that, I just don't want to. Tyler with the cover and a kick out. Ref trying to maintain some decorum here. Got the king of Florida on the outside, Andrew Starling. Pacing, frustrated. He's got to maintain some some uh, sense of control as well. He's got a match later on against Dan Lacey. No, only Cam going to help this crowd practice their numbers. It's not Sesame Street, it's wrestling. Really sharp right hands by Cam Stewart, really impressing me. Here we go, AK-47 going to break it up. In the corner, catching 10 for himself. Oh, here we go. Cam gets caught with a double team. 47 off the top. Cover by the legal man. Cam on the wrong side of the railroad tracks here against the OTS project. OTS are well oiled, well maintained, and they are a well traveled tag team. Not to say anything about the not to say anything less about the marquee. The marquee, of course. Good, good oh, friend. disgusting. Oh, look at this. Rest of his back turn. Look at this neck beard on the outside of the ring. Don't talk about Kyle Kidman like that. His dad will beat you up. At least that's what I heard. Cam is going to have to do something here. Looks like he might have crushed his larynx there. It's one thing that's so dangerous about tag team wrestling. I don't think a lot of people talk about. The damage can pile up on you in a hurry in a hurry. If another team is using double teams, another team is using a manager on the outside, they can put your lights out very quickly. And we're seeing it happen, Cam Stewart, right now. And Gabriel in full control of only Cam with a blatant choke as a referee not paying attention. There you see the frustration of Daniel Sterling. Uh-oh. You know, that slamming of his ankle into the apron didn't look like much, but because it was unexpected, I think it really caught Cam Stewart. Well, Cam Stewart, listen, angles are fragile pieces of the body. You get caught on a, on a steel rod, it's going to hurt no matter what. I don't care how strong you are. Cam, of course, been doing all he can to get in shape. Gabriel with the kitchen sink, kick to the spine. Gabriel pulling the hair. Oh, what a kick. They're not letting Cam Stewart come up for air. Every time they're hitting him, they're hitting him again as a follow. Every time he kicks out, they punish him some more. They're just punishing this young man. Looking like a pack of hyenas just picking the pieces. Cam going to have to do something here. AK-47 with the flipping splash with the assist from Gabriel. Stewart now getting worked over in the corner, neutral corner. Oh, what a kick. 
kick. Oh my goodness. Working over the back. A 56-yard field goal. And it was good, ladies and gentlemen. Using the fifth and sixth vertebrae. I mean, that kick, you could see it jarred. Cut on the camp. Cam Stewart trying to remember his name as he gets split with the wishbone. It's not even Thanksgiving. I wrestled the same two little people for over a year, Sticks, and they did that move to me so many times, I'm surprised I had kids at all. Little people, we never wrestled. You're Cam. not supposed to say the M word. Okay, that's right. I get it. <laughs> I rode the short bus. It's fine. Uh, Gabriel now with the uppercut. Kim Stewart in trouble. Cam Stewart has been in there a lifetime, Sticks. Yeah, AK-47 with the fresh tag in. Small yet effective, packing the punch. Stewart now trying to fight out. In the bad neighborhood, trying to make it home safe. Oh! oh, absolutely vicious. Face first into the second buckle. Double team. Oh, did you see Cam's head whip back as that leg hit him in the head? Yeah, that's definitely, He's out. That's definitely where whiplash comes from. Cam Stewart is, he's showing me how tough he is. Straight he's instinct. showing me how good that right hand of his is. I don't think either one of them is going to be enough. Great instinct, though. Now, taunting Tyler, taunting the marquee. This crowd letting him know what they think of the OTS project. Kidman's still on the outside. Starling's still on the outside. Went for the Instagram, missed it. Gabriel with, with ankle control gets shoved off, and we remember that that ankle got worked over earlier by the post. Kim Stewart now able to make the tag. Here comes Tyler, fresh in. Forearm shot, another one just for fun. Here comes a three piece and a biscuit. Oh, knocks him down with a combo shot. I can see why he throws those forearms, they are lethal. Oh, AK-47 gets tossed out like trash. Here comes Gabriel from behind. With the blocks. Tyler! <laughs> Count to 10, this one's over. Knockout shot, Mike Tyson style. Oh, gets caught with the forearm coming in. Jake Paul, oh my God! <laughs> Flatten the top of his head! Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you get concussions. The power slam! Oh, and a kick out! I, lo I love his game. He is instantly even the odds here. Th that man is out on the, look on the AK apron. AK-47 doesn't know what his name is. AK-47, you could write it down, he couldn't read it to you, I promise. Holy cow! What a spike pile driver on the outside. Wow. Tyler in control of Gabriel. Gabriel gets back to the corner. OTS Project in trouble for the first time in this contest. Tyler whips him out. Nice reversal. Black tag, Kim Stewart. Oh, step up in Sagari from the outside. This is their chance right now, Sticks. Here comes the double team. I gotta give the ref credit for his good reflexes on that one. I would have been tempted to slap that mat three. I thought for sure that was a three count. This match was over. We're going home to the pay window. Tyler throwing hands, goes for the discus punch, misses. AK-47 rolls through, gets the Well, kicks the ankle. Remember that ankle was hurt earlier. Fisherman suplex, brain buster with the bridge. Wow. A 
emotions are running really high there. He almost got his team disqualified. I get the instinct. I get wanting to jump in there. The King of Florida, Daniel Sterling on the outside, trying to do all he can to help his team. You see, helping Tyler on the outside, the marquee in trouble here. Cam Stewart. All that punishment Cam took is now hurting him. Gabriel went for the stomp, rolls through. Oh, another knee. But there you see he's favoring that ankle. That heat-seeking missile of a kick. Limping longer than me, worse than me after a long night at the club. Cam Stewart holds him, hooks him up. Oh, no! A little malfunction at the junction. Miscommunication by this tag team. Tied up. A lot going on. The referee trying to keep a hold of all of it. Wait a second. AK-47 caught the rope. Oh, bump it down. Ref trying to help him. Does that count as an assist? AK-47 in a bad way. My gosh. Hey. It's a kind of thing that could shatter your leg, actually. Those ropes are not ropes, they're wires, ladies and gentlemen. This is the first match of the show sticks, and these guys have absolutely decimated. Look at that ring, bodies everywhere. Crazy. Kidman on the outside what? with the referee's back turn. <laughs> Starling trying to break in. Daniel Starling had the ref distracted inadvertently. And here we go. Destroyer! No. Still trying to stay up. This gets right to the back of the head. The kill shot. He's out. He's out. An OTS project. We have to have somebody check on him right now, Spitz. Oh, that destroyer was insane. Followed by the kill shot with the, with the discus forearm. It is not legal in boxing and most combat sports to hit to the back of the head, but pro wrestling, no such restrictions. Yeah, we're a little different. Uh, the rules are what they are, and I'm a fan of breaking them most of the time, but Tyler might be in some real trouble here. I think we might need to get some medical out of that. He's, he's on his feet. Kind he's of trying sorta. to walk nope. it off. Nope. See, look, he can't even. They got to get somebody sticks. Nope. They have to right now. Wow. Literally crawling to the back. OTS Project celebrating the victory. However, take wait a second. Oh. When that man feels joy, I feel none. This is absurd. This is absurd. OTS Project with a win. No one else. The marquee, a little dimmer here today at the establishment. It is helter skelter here at the establishment. What is, whose stuff is this? We got people putting their stuff on our table. Yeah, that's not stick. your stuff. I don't it know. It is not mine. I don't know whose that is. But. I, you know what? I think I know whose that is, but I didn't know he was going to be here tonight. We'll, we'll ignore that for now. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you like, subscribe, and follow the establishment wrestling on all platforms and social media. And if you're watching us on YouTube, Make sure you hit that, that uh, bell so you get those notifications. Absolutely. As we continue the Lethal Lottery. from the first matchup. He's very frustrated. You can see on his face, underneath that wonderful spray tan, that he is ready and willing to hurt somebody. And that somebody is going to be Daniel Lacey. This is going to be a Daniel versus Daniel. Ladies and gentlemen. 
I've seen Daniel Lacey at different promotions. I've seen him as a champion in other promotions. Of course, the establishment, you have to establish yourself here, but he puts that pile driver on you. I don't care if you are God himself, you are laying down and getting pinned. Yeah, that pile driver would make Jerry the King Lawler proud, that's for sure, as he throws that towel off. You know, it is way too hot in here to be wearing a jacket. Way too hot. You have to be an idiot to wear Hey, oh, look at that what happened? This guy went to public school. There you go, Lee Canfield in charge of this contest. The king of referees with the king of Florida. And the modern day classic. Daniel versus Daniel. A little show of respect. That's gross. I, I hate it. I know you're what, not a fan of that stick. What is that? But what I like about it is it sets up the possibility of betrayal. I love it. Yeah. You know what? Some of your worst betrayals come from your best friends because that's where betrayal comes from. Nice clean break. Also, blue sportsmanship. Daniel Lacey is showing a lot of confidence this time around, Sticks. You know, I see a lot of people come into the establishment because things matter so much. Every match counts. You see a lot of nervousness from a lot of new guys. But Daniel Lacey, he looks pretty confident in there. Daniel Lacey lives in confidence, but then again, so does Daniel Starling. He doesn't call himself Starling for nothing. He's also the king of Florida. The guy carries around a crown in 2024. If that doesn't display confidence to you, I don't know what does. Nice opening sequence here. There you see the strut making the boys happy. Lacey bouncing around, showing off those wet locks. Of course, my favorite referee, Lee Canfield, in there with them. Yeah, you know, I like Lee just fine, but I wish you would stop bragging about 5Ks, okay? We get it. You do cardio. It's fine. All right, save some for the rest of us, will you? Mickey Mouse is proud of you. Nice knuckle lock here, test of strength. Lacey bending Starling back. Look at the flexibility here. Steps over, tries to break it with the knees. Look at the wrestling prowess of both these men. It's a pure wrestling man. Nice step through. Very, very ah, nice. Takedown. There it is. And there you see the strong oh. to return the favor. The King of Florida. Showing off that regal nature. Mouth breathers in the front row declaring he's their king. Listen, all right, now listen. Neckbeards can say whatever they want. It is what it is. Troglodytes will follow anybody. Starling now. Oh, wait a second. We're going to have a strut off? We are going to have a strut off. I'm here for it. A little treat for the ladies and the undecided men in the audience. I mean, there we go. i got to be careful when I say a commentary. It's going to turn me into a hashtag. Is it? They're not wrestling. They're strutting. These fans are idiots. Uh, Lee Campbell. Oh. Be careful on that repaired MCL, brother. Here we go. Wrestling. Nice. Collar elbow types under the ring. Lacey backs him in the corner, Starling. Trying to force a clean break. Not so much. Oh, second rope. Crawls underneath. Go behind. Look at the speed of Daniel Starling with a snap air. Lacey caught off guard with that deep arm drag. Gorgeous. Gorgeous oh, again. Beautiful wrestling. From the King of Florida. Title must be well deserved. Oh, wow. Wow. Sounded like a firecracker went off in the corner. Hard whip, cross, up and over. Woo! Deep arm drag. Oh! With a single leg drag. 
drop kick. All damn night. All night. Very, very impressive showing. And now that confidence has left Daniel Lacey officially. Daniel Lacey, a little confused. Going to have to go back to the drawing board. Going to have to call a halftime, if you will, and, and re-game plan. Starling in full control. Oh, nice kick to the gut. You want to cut off a wrestler, kick him in the gut. Deep chop. Starling reverses it. Gets caught with the boot coming in. Cover. Nice side headlock here by Dan Lacey. You see the armband on Starling's arm representing his fallen trainer, Franco Chiazzo. Wonderful man in the sport of wrestling. Taught many a young boy how to do it like that. Hip toss right there. Woo! The best chop of the night so far, caught, Sticks. Caught him with that deep chop right in the middle of the chest. Calling his shot like Franco Chiazzo. Whips him off. Nope. Reversal. Lacey learning. Uh, belly to back. Suplex. What? Bounce over the bottom rope. Did you see that six? The height of that, the force behind it, the inertia, if you will, the science behind the gravity that was that belly to back suplex with the O'Connor roll. Now just straight shots to the head. That one move turned the tide of this entire match and now Daniel Lacey, the confidence is back. Daniel Lacey not one to be short on it. Now snap suplex with a float over. Knee to the back. The body control. Stretching out Starling Lacey now. Gonna use his size, his reach to his advantage as he keeps his opponent on the ground. Elbows to the midsection. Ducks it. Ducks it. Oh! Starling up and over skins the cat. Oh! I've never seen that before. He got him right in the face. He's down. Beautiful He's down. Baseball slide. Drop kick right to the face of the King of Florida. And the King of Florida might need to go see the gesture of doctors after this match. You know, it's one thing for a guy to argue there's no king of Florida, but he calls himself the instant classic. You can't be instant and classic at the same time. It is not a thing, but we're not gonna talk about that. Semantics, brother, as Lacey lays the boots, or the laces, to Daniel Starling. You see what I did there? It's clever stuff. Whips him off hard! Cover! In full control of Starling. Gonna climb up. Slow. Starling all the way across the ring. Oh! Backs up the wrong way into a double axe handle. Stay down. Stay down. Daniel versus Daniel. Fighting for supremacy, for bragging rights, the best Daniel in the business. Another one gets caught! Turned around right into a punk 
punch in the gut. Got him right in the jejunum. Daniel Lacey went up to that top rope. Didn't really seem like he had a plan there, Sticks, and he paid for it. Yeah, mistakes from that high up are always going to hurt. Snarly now trying to mount some offense. Gets caught with a knee. Bokeman trying to catch their breath. Ducks a close like this. Caught that backer! No cover, though. Bokeman down center of the ring. Lee Canfield starts a double 10 count here. Two. Ow. Oh, that sucks. Oh. Here we go. Throwing hands. Snarling doing his thing. The shake, the rattle, the roll. Almost through the royal shot. Oh, through the ropes. Oh, with the uppercut. And immediately transitions that into something else. That is veteran status right there. Oh, gets caught with a kick, bounces. Oh, what a shot! That's it. Shoots him over. Lazy cover. Why would you not? These guys are just throwing car crash after car crash after car crash at one another, Sticks. Oh, my God. He might have broke his jaw with that kick. I got to break your neck. Where's their handshake now? Yeah, you know, that sportsmanship goes right out the window when your buddy tries to knock your teeth out. Oh, is he going for it? Are we going to see the most perfect pile driver in all the professional wrestling? Say that five times fast. For sure, the king is going to want to stop that. Oh, back body drop. Oh, oh. No, gets caught. Rolls through. Steps over. First kick, DDT! You can see fatigue setting in on both guys. They're having trouble locking in moves. They're having trouble doing anything. Right now, they're flopping around. If whoever can put together the best sustained offense right now is going to win this match. Absolutely. Momentum is always on your side in the wrestling ring as long as you maintain it. Starling calls for it. Is he? What's he calling for? I'm sorry, Daniel Lacey calling for a top rope. It's a big man to be doing flips. Starling, the forearm shot right to the back. Lacey lands the hard way. Not off the top. No way. Safety first, boys. Starling lands on the mat. Lacey now climbing to the top. A man this big should not fly like that. Cross body. Oh no, gets caught. Rolls over. Goes for the pump kick. I love it. He took him down like a DDT on his knee. Beautiful. Starling looks like he's calling for it, stepping through. Oh, he went for the figure four, get caught. Both men in trouble. They've been going a long time now, almost 15 minutes in the ring. Daniel Lacey wanted to get up right there, but his body failed him. I know the feeling. Lacey in trouble. Might be legit hurt here. Trying to work out that kink in the knee. Oh no! Starling gets caught walking in. Standing fireman's carry. Almost on one leg. There you see the knee giving out. Nice front slam there. Starling gonna try one more, or Lacey gonna try one more time to climb that rope. I don't know how smart that is. Your knee hurts, you've been going now for a long time, gets caught! Boot to the chin! Lacey 
Casey now out cold. Going for the knee breaker. On the top turnbuckle. Holds on. Corkscrew. And he holds on. He's rolling through. He's keeping a hold of that ankle. If he can apply a finisher here, he's going to win it right now. Absolutely. If he can lock in that finger. Oh! Breaking the eyes right in front of the referee. Lee Campbell admonishing, ad admonishing Daniel Lacey. From a handshake to sticking your thumb inside somebody's eye socket sticks. Yeah, that's what it is. Take his eye out. Ask Vader all about it. Lacey trying to do his thing. Off the ropes. Get caught. Oh, it takes the Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Beautiful chop block. Steps through. That's it. King of Florida locking in the figure four. Perfect choice. Perfect move. Perfect placement in the ring. Look at it. The king of wrestling, the 16 top champ, would be so proud. If he wasn't getting busy getting thrown out of bars, Daniel Lacey now going to have to try and roll it over. Oh, he does. Oh, no. Smart, Starling very Harry smart Rock. wrestling by the King. Using his momentum to his advantage. Yeah, slap to the face isn't as good as that. Locks it in. Oh, he tapped out. Gorgeous. Oh, Great match. Out. Great match, Sticks. Beautiful. The King of Florida holds on to the crown and the high ground. Pure wrestling at its finest. The marquee a little brighter after that match. I like it. A lot of times we get caught up in this modern style of wrestling. It's about me hitting them with my signature move. What does that mean? The only signature move that matters is the one that gets the win. Absolutely. The winner goes to the pay, home, pay window. The loser goes home broke. It is what it is. Wrestling is a fight sport. It's not about fancy flips. It's about getting it done. Either a tap out or a three count. And today, Starling walks away a brighter star and a bigger winner. I love it. I love it. Showing some respect to Jeff Stone, though, right there. Everybody should bend the knee. And Jeff showing Stone. disrespect to them. I love this guy. Yeah, absolutely. I love this guy. These people suck. Stone's in the front row, as he should be. Has his own section. They brought in Zaxby's. They're no sponsor of ours. This is past the chicken fingers, my guy. I like that Zax sauce. You know True, I mean? or at least some Texas toast, yeah, man. Give me some toast. We need it. You clearly don't. That's right. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. You can't uh, do that. It's 2024. Uh, you're you're going to get in trouble. Well, someone tell his haircut it's 2024. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen. Steven Platinum going in on these fans. I am here for it. These people suck. Woo, how we doing tonight, Orlando, Florida? What is happening? It's an infomercial. Live what, at the what, establishment. Hey, I don't hey, know. Boo, don't boo. I'm here. I'm here to show you anything's possible. Hey, you shut up. Anything. Anything is possible. See, last night I had a dream. I had a dream. I was climbing Mount Everest. And I was climbing Mount Zion here, and I was like a gazelle, and I was a Methodist. So I was two things at once. 
which means great things are going to happen. All right, all right, that's better, that's better. Like I was saying, I'm Casey Vi, you're a guy, and I had a dream last night. I was a gazelle climbing the mountains. Casey, I was climbing doing? the Mount Everest, the Mount Zion from Money Incorporated. Well, I climbed those mountains with the Vi Method. The Vi Method, that's v right. is for vision. You can achieve anything you want. And you will achieve anything you want with this method. Even taking down a mountain like I climbed in my dream last night. Hey, yo, what? Yes, you can do it. Even you. You can get a body like this with a body. That's right. simply not possible, sir. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't be making promises you can't keep, brother. Are you a believer? Are you signing up for the Vi method? I gotta tell you, is after Vi your guy? I am holding onto my wallet with all three hands. <laughs> I don't trust him for a moment. Uh, I, I love confidence. Okay, I am the king of confidence myself. I'm so confident God gave me extra legs. It is what it is. Vi may have literally bitten off more than he could chew against Ray Zion. Zion is no joke. I'll tell you though, if he could conquer Zion, this big man, this strong man, I might give him a listen. I might let him pitch me. You're gonna buy one of the tapes. You're gonna you're gonna put it in the old eight track. I'm just and, uh, saying. And let How'd it you run? know about the eight track? Listen, it kind of hurt my feelings. Right next to Parliament it. Funkadelic. I'm here for it. Don't hate on the P Funk. Vi is your guy. She's confused. I'm confused. No atomic dog. Nice collar, elbow tie up. Not so much. Zion ready to do damage. Representing Money ENT, Money Entertainment. Uh -huh. I told you the it works. I of course, it. led by the one and only AJ Francis, who was here last show. With all the boys from Money ENT. Ray about that paper, trying to get paid. As we stated earlier, winners keep their jobs, losers could be fired. Off the ropes! What a shot. How's that Vi method working out for you, big guy? Not so much. Vi like a mosquito bouncing off the big man. Vi gonna fly. No! Zion gets caught! Sleeper! Goes over the hard way. Oh, what a shot! And a spear! Vi uh, might die. I don't think I, I'm going to make that first payment of $29.99. I don't think it's happening. Plus $5.99 shipping. Listen, oh Vi, no. Oh no. Vi is the guy that Zai killed. Oh no. Put him in a body bag. Jumping Jesus on a pogo stick. That man is dead, Sticks. That man is dead. Yeah, somebody call the paramedics. Zion. Repping money. Bye. 
Say goodbye. So, okay. This is the establishment. We leave the lottery. We were here in Orlando. It's hot and it's steamy. You can literally see the steam. What is going on here? I don't know what's going on over here. I just got stuff over there. That's not my stuff, man. I don't know whose stuff that is. What the hell is wrong with you? You know what? We had enough of your commentary. Hey! 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 Come on, hey! Come on, man! What are you doing? You're gonna take your spot. I'm gonna take. Well, listen, I'm not running. Hello, what are you doing? Hello everyone, Ori Gold is here, yeah. one half of the best tag team in this whole freaking world. Yeah. And we're here in the Stabs with Wrestling yeah. to have some fun. Yeah, the tag team, you're, you're a tag team wrestler, you're not a commentator. What possessed you to come over here and take over the table? I was talking with Mr. Bossman, Mr. Banks, and he told me, hey, you're not on the show. I'm like, why not? He's like, I don't have anything so, for you. Wait. So here I am on the show representing the best tag team uh, in this world. Okay, so you just come over and take over because you want some recognition. I get it. Yeah. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Better together, one half of better together in the building. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, listen, we all know what you guys did against Vice and Violence a couple shows ago. Beautiful match. You can go back and watch it right here on our YouTube channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and follow. Hit that notification button so you know all things establishment, including Better Together, one of the best tag teams in the world. Thank you very much. Thank 100%. you. 100%. Your attitude needs a little work, but I am, uh, I am not a fan of uh, rules, per se. So. Me too. Me too. So that's okay. But we have a great show coming up. Yeah, we're halfway through. They're just showing up halfway through. When you Don't worry. Lost, but, but I'm on my own times. Better together, not big on punctuality, I guess. Ori, a gold in the building. Fanny pack and Pepsi included. Fanny pack and Pepsi included. Yeah, your fanny pack's right there. And, uh, we're just, just taking over half the table. Meanwhile, we got wrestling going on. Scotty Sosa is coming out. We have not seen him there, over here in the establishment since he turned on Madison Blake. Scotty, with the attitude change against her partner, formerly Shake and Bake. I guess Shake and Bake is no more. I guess not. Look at her attitude. She's confident. She's feeling it. And she's here. To prove maybe she's better with um, Madison Blake. Listen, Scotty has always felt like Madison was holding her back. I think that was a big part of the attitude change that we saw in the last show. I mean, you've gone through a metamorphosis lately. I mean, oh, you tell me what's the mindset of somebody like like Scotty? Oh, she's gonna talk. It looks like Scotty does not want to explain her actions. I tried to get a word with her earlier today, and she said, Ori, go away. I mean, don't you get that from most women? No. Ori Gold joining me in commentary. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, my name is Styx. They call me the world's most famous plaything. This is the Establishment Wrestling. Make sure you like, subscribe, and follow us on all social media platforms. Tiny! I was talking with Tiny earlier today. She was trained by Loki himself. So she, you know, she's powerful, she's strong. And Tiny brings something to the table that we haven't seen over here in the establishment yet. I'm very excited to see Tiny work. She is deadly inside that ring. She's like dynamite. Small but effective. Did you know she's a two-time freestyle wrestling Florida State Champion? Yeah, I just said that. We're here for a treat. Scotty versus Tiny. Let's see who's gonna come up on top. Here's the thing about 
the establishment too, and you know this because you've been working here for a while. The winners keep their jobs. The losers have a potential to lose their jobs. So we do things differently here at the establishment. If you don't perform, you can be fired. Tiny with a slap to the face, picking up Scotty the hard way, right into the buckle. Uh oh, and another one. Tiny is taking her all over the ring. Tiny is showing. Maybe she's tiny, but she's strong and she's powerful. Tiny knows what she's doing when she's throwing somebody around. Wow. Tiny is feeling it. The crowd is calling it. Tiny is known for her suplexes. She has the and here we go. Belly to back style into the cover. Uh, oh, that was a very dangerous suplex. I'm telling you, getting it getting hit on your head just like that it's gonna affect Scotty during this match I wonder how she's gonna recover from this it's gonna, it's gonna affect her for the rest of her life that's how you kill brain cells right there hook in the ropes we're not trying to force the break here now Scotty coming out aggressively but Tiny oh. a little bit more so oh Tiny with the powerhouse getting caught on the second <laughs> rope the pressure is on Scotty we haven't seen her sh since she attacked Madison, let's see if she can keep her job over here in the establishment after the action she did. Well, she didn't have much to say about it, which means she doesn't really care. She's just here to win titles and make money, which I'm all for. Tiny whipped into the buckle hard. At this point, Scotty has the hand on top. Scotty is in control of this match. Scotty using the second rope and the five count to her advantage. Tiny was in control in the beginning of this match, but now Scotty has the upper end. Scotty is in control. Tiny needs to find a way, fi needs to find an opening to get this, to get this match. Tiny throwing hands, forearm shot right to the back of the neck. Now, Ori, you have been in the ring with a uh, who's who of professional wrestling. What do you do when you're getting beat up like Tiny is right now? Like, what's your plan? For me, if I was Tiny, I would try to go to the ropes, try to climb up, try to get some sort of an advantage over Scotty, because obviously Scotty has their hand on top right now. Tiny needs to find a small opening. She needs to pray that Scotty will make a mistake. And if Scotty makes a mistake, she needs to capitalize on it. Like this, just like this. Single leg takedown. Oh. oh, gets caught with a kick. You see, it's mistakes like that. Tiny took a little too long, and now Scotty is back in control. Hit her with Quick cover there after the sidewalk slam. Tiny able to kick out, use her power. But but you see, like I told you, she's back in control. She's back in control. And now Tiny needs to find a hole again. Scotty able to make it, maintain control after a brief, brief fury of offense from Tiny. Uh, the crowd. Tiny Tenali doing all she can. Look at This is some movement that I have not seen before. This Scotty is very using special. All of her body weight. Oh, Tiny just Tiny. throwing that backwards headbutt. Oh, yeah. this is the big opportunity for Tiny. And here we go with the big throw. Oh, this is Tiny's chance. Maybe she can come back to this. Scotty Tiny. right back on top. Throwing haymakers. Oh. Back and forth, tit for tat. Tiny Tenali. Chopping away. Hey! Jiu Jitsu and. And Tiny with the throw. Throw. Nice, nice throw. Nice judo throw. Tiny with the gut wrench. Picks her up. Oh, and drops her. Oh my god. This is Tiny's chance to Cover. win. Cover. One. Oh, and Scotty kicks out in the last second. Out. She can keep her job. But Just Tiny is back on top. Tiny has all of the momentum in the world. Can Scotty come back? Scotty's in the ropes. Scotty in a bad way. Tiny rolls through. Oh! oh! Tiny with the German suplex! German suplex off the second rope! She needs to get back in the ring! Make she needs to cover. cover her! There you go, drag her to the middle! Cover! Oh! Scotty kicks out in the last second. Tiny. If Tiny did not take her time, hyping the crowd up. Doesn't know what to do here. She took way too much time playing with the crowd. 
Oh, but Tiny is getting ready. She's taking the straps off. You know what that means. Suplex Queen is here. And she's here to German Scotty Saucer. Scotty will throw through. Get him rope. Oh, big back elbow. Oh, no. Cover. One. Two. Oh, my God. Oh. Upset. And just like that, Scotty Sosa keeps her job. Scotty Sosa proved that maybe the breakup from Madison was a good idea. Wow. Wow. An actual concisive got from Ori Gold, ladies and gentlemen. Commentary. My name is Nick. He's Ori. This is the establishment. This is oh, here comes Madison. Right. Madison. Madison. With a score oh. 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 Scotty, Scotty runs away. away. We were just talking about maybe that was the right decision of breaking up Shake and Bay. But here we see Madison trying to chase Scotty, trying to get some revenge. Scotty not having it, using her brains, her mental acuity to avoid a beating she so richly deserves. Madison tonight in our main event, teaming up with Mercedes Martinez versus Devlin Macabre and... And Cesar. And Cesar. Can't match for real. Oh my god, I'll do all the lifting. Oh, <laughs> uh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for our title contest. Bossman just came back from Chicago last night. You know what? I think it was this morning. Winning championships in Chicago. Winning championships in Florida. Mr. Banks over here. He's the one to watch. Well, that trust fund coming in handy when it comes to his wrestling career, eh? Oh, he's... Okay. Look, at those, look at those boots. Look, look at these boots. Look at them. The Louis look Vuitton. Look the Louis Vuitton. The Don of Louis Vuitton. He has the Louis Vuitton on yeah, the boots. Look. He has the Louis Vuitton on yes, the gear. He has the Louis Vuitton on the jacket. He's got the custom belt paid for by daddy. All of it comes from the trust fund. It is what it is. Say what you want. From Boca Raton, the Don of Louis Vuitton. Blake Banks, the boss man. Say what you want about Blake Banks, about trust fund, about being from West Palm. But we can't deny that he won the belt. We can't deny his talent. He won the belt. He made the belt. He made the belt. He didn't win the belt. He made it. That's okay. Now, He's still holding a belt. He beat Aaron Nova in a challenge match. He did. Him. So technically he won the belt. Sure. But who brought the belt in? Who had the belt made? It doesn't matter. You're looking at him. Uh -oh. He still won against Mr. Aaron Nova. He is not here tonight because he lost last show. He's not here going to be ever. Ever. Exactly. He was fired That's from the establishment. Come on. Why are you excited about this? Let's see who's going to answer Mr. Bossman's challenge. Oh! oh. Sage is a dangerous man. The Trillmonger. 
Look at his physique, look at his size. He's been doing it for years, trained by the great. He's here to face the boss man. He is here to win the championship. Do you think Sage can be the new champion? I think Sage can do whatever he wants. Look at him. Look at him. You're going to go tell him no? Go tell him no, see what happens. I'm not going to tell Sage nothing. I, w I was in line for catering, and he told me to move. So, like, okay, I'm going to move. And then he told me to hurry up, and I couldn't. And he got mad. Sometimes he needs to look down, to look who he has in front of him, and be respectful. No. But for you, I get it. He just listen, wanted you to move. Listen, listen. Sage can tell anybody to do anything he wants. The trailmonger doing whatever he wants to do in the squared circle. Lake Banks has his hands full. Well, that was not smart. Let's see if Banks can handle the trailmonger. Listen. Blake Banks might be rich, but he's not rich in brain cells, if you know what I mean. Oh! oh! The power of the Trailmonger! We can see the power of Sage very early in this show. He's taking the champion into a whole lot of pain. What? Uh -oh. What a belly to belly throw! A huge belly to belly, and the champ is down very early in this contest. This is Trailmonger opportunity to dictate a new pace in the establishment. Imagine if Trailmonger wins the championship tonight. Listen, new champion, new executive, new rules, new bylaws. I'm here for it. I love change. Oh, off the post! Sage is in control and the champ is down. Sage looking like Predator. Doing what he wants, when he wants. Oh! One more time for the post. And face versus post. Post will always win. The executive champ is down. Sage is up. And I think we're going to see a new champion tonight. I, I mean, it's very, very possible. Now, don't count Blake out. He's very crafty. He's very smart. He knows what he's doing when it comes to finding a way to win. So we'll have to see how long this match goes. But right now, Sage, the Trailmonger, just raining down fists of fury for as long as he wants on the front row. Holy cow. This match has been 100% Trailmonger. This is Trailmonger's match. Do you think Blake can even recover? A1 rolls in to break the count. I don't know. I don't know if Blake knows where he is. I, I mean, he may have forgotten he's in Orlando right now at the establishment wrestling for the title. This, I mean, he's on Dream Street. Look at him. This championship match has been one-sided, and the challenger is ready. Oh, no! That is a wrong place to get thrown down. Maybe all of the traveling was not a good idea for the champ. Well, he can't be well rested because we all know how it is to travel. He takes you out of you. But Blake Banks now. Oh, no. What does he have oh, in mind? No. Sage coming around, builds momentum with a knee right to the temple. Big knee by Sage Scott, and the champ is down. Trailmonger doing what he wants to do when he wants to do it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Money ENT, well represented, Ray Zion in the building. This is interesting. What is he doing over here? Watching Trailmonger? Looks like he's just standing there looking big. You see the eyes lock between the two of them. Sage and Ray have a history. Oh, oh there you see. This the was the opportunity champion. he needed. That's right. Short cut be damned. They're using the middle rope to his advantage. Right in the giblets of A1 Day 1. Uh, oh, the Blake. Oh! With the, with the neck breaker. Big neck breaker by Banks, and this is why he's the champion. He saw an opportunity. Sage hesitated, and now Banks is in control. Well, with the distraction of Ray on the outside, Ray taking his time far enough away from the ring not to cause a scene, distracting Sage just enough to, for him to catch hands. Look at the welt that was created on, on Banks' body. I see you. Respect the space, that is what it is. Blake Banks off the ropes. The money drop. Oh. oh. Banks feels himself, and that's when he gets into that mood. That confidence, when that swagger, that money mode, as he calls it.
the Don of Louis Vuitton, the champ, is in, in control. And when he builds this confidence, it's very hard to stop Mr. Banks. Mr. Banks will find a way to win or cash that check, if you will. Runs it, gets caught! Yurinagi! Big Yurinagi by Klingmonger. Trillmonger with the cover. Title on the line, title on the line, new champ! Nope. Just barely. And now Sage is back on top. Like I told you, Sticks, it's very hard with an opponent like Sage because of his size, because of his physique. You need to stay on him this whole time. Can't give him any time to breathe. Blake Banks building up ahead of Steve gets caught with the knee. Throwing it back. Suplex high on the neck. But Ball's Sage stays in control. Sage stays in control. Waist lock. In oh, control. big German suplex. And he still hangs on. Oh, this is a different type of free amigos. This is the Sage amigos. The free suplexes of Sage. A1 day one dropping him like a bad habit when he feels like it. The stalling suplex. And there we see the laws of gravity taking effect physics the hard way. And Sage is back in control. We thought Banks had him for a second. Title, title, title. Oh, oh we almost had a new champ right there. And now Sage is back in control. Sticks, I think we're going to see a new champ tonight. I might actually agree with you. Don't tell anybody. But we might actually agree on something. Blake Banks in real trouble. That front face lock applied in deep by Zane Scott, the Trillmonger. Working over those ribs and the kidneys. He's been working on them this whole match. Oh, and now it's a submission. Will Banks tap out? Will we have a new champ right now in the establishment? Uh, middle of the ring, he's got nowhere to go. Cross face, this is it, new champ, new champ, he's, he's gonna tap he's out. He's gonna have to tap, he's gonna have to tap. Oh, I'm stuck. Kick out. Big knee to the midsection. Picks him up. With the, oh, he went for the power slam, gets caught. Blake Banks now, runs in with a knee, he's going to have to keep going, keep going. Standing fireman's carry. Gets pulled in. Oh, the black hole! Big, blue, oh! I thought we had a new champ stick. I was almost certain we had a new board of directors. Sage Scott, the Trillmonger, going for the three count. And Blake Banks at 15 16 kicks out. Banks kicked out. I don't know how he has the willpower to kick out after the beating he got from Sage. But he's in dangerous, dangerous place right now. He is hurt, that's for sure. Trillmonger now going to do his monster deeds. Up on the top row, Blake Banks now worked over. Uh -oh. What is going on through his head? He's he's trying to inflict as much pain as possible to the champion so that he can win that shiny belt and become the executive of the establishment. That's how it works here, ladies and gentlemen. You will hold that executive championship. You are in charge. The man with the gold makes the rules. Going for it. He countered it! The bossman countered it into a crossbody. This is his opportunity. Can he capitalize? Blake Banks now. Gonna have to fight up somehow. Gonna find his way to his feet if he wants to win. Title on the line. Both men down. First man to his feet. He's gonna have momentum. Ray Zion is still lurking, still watching. Lurking is a perfect description for what he's doing. The big man take it. Big knee! Trillmonger gets caught with the pump kick! What a series! What a flurry! A face buster! Banks going for the trust fund kick but misses! Sage picks him up again! Oh no! Turns him around! Come here! New champ! Title on the line! What? Oh! Bossman is still alive!
Just barely. Blake Banks is still our boss. Oh, what a shame. He can tell a lot of stuff about Mr. Banks over here, but in this match, he shows that he has a heart, that he has a passion. Maybe he wants to be the executive champ. The only thing he's got a heart for is making money, and I don't blame him for that, but let's not call him a good guy, because he is definitely not. Oh. Trill Mongo, look at the strength! This. Look at the brute strength! Oh, he got oh, oh. Double under MDD. Oh, the designer drop! Designer drop to the... Oh! Are you kidding me? Mr. Banks is still our champion with the designer draw. He hit it out of nowhere, and you were right. He did cheat to win, but one way or another, he's still the executive champ. The guy with the gold makes the rules, and unfortunately, or fortunately, however you may see it, Blank Banks, the Don of Louis Vuitton, is still the boss of Maine. Look at the dejection on the Trillmonger being consoled by Ray. Blake Banks not caring as long as he walks away in charge with that title. Banks is still in charge. Ray Zion and Sage are having a couple of words over there on the side. Referee Lee is going to try to get some control over here. Oh. Might be in the wrong neighborhood. Oh, oh. Now, Sage and Ray just beating him down. Oh. Wait a minute. So does this mean Sage is part of Money NT? What is going on? Was this planned? Oh, here comes Task Force. Oh, Task Force to make the save. <laughs> Task Force right here to save Mr. Banks. <laughs> they work together. DMC, Mikey Spendick, we and saw, Mr. Banks. We saw the reforming of Task Force at the last show, which you can see right here on our YouTube channel as the DMC calls for the microphone. No, 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 no. That is not how this is going to be Not like that. Listen. I don't know what you has changed, man. You're not the same person that was brought into the establishment. And I know it was because of A.J. Francis. So I don't know what he promised you and money in your team. And it looks like you got Sage Scott as well. I'm assuming Jay St. Patrick. So, whatever this is, we're not going to stand for that. Not one bit. I got one, one, one last message for you. I told y'all I had a plan. I told y'all this place was going to be built in my image, our image. And I said our time was going to come, and that time is now. It's right now. It's right now. Right. Right. Oh, no! What is going on tonight? Mission accomplished. Over and out. Task Force taking out the trust fund kid. I don't think I've ever seen something that made me so proud of Task Force. Task Force are here for themselves. And the trust fund kid, Mr. Bosman, is alone. Looks like the boss man might be in the middle of a hostile takeover. He might want to uh, rethink his board of directors, some of his executives. Wait, what is that? Oh my god! Oh my god, it's happening! It's happening! It's a gold rush! The golden ticket! The golden ticket! Oh my god!
five minutes or something that I have never dreamed of. Last night, Banks is down. Task for turn on him. And now, Azrael Roll is the new executive chef of the establishment. Unbelievable. Got me? matter of seconds, lost his championship, lost the Louis, and now lost his job. Are you gonna be okay? Are you gonna be all right? I don't know, he was he was my guy at the top. Actually, I don't really care. Ladies and gentlemen, Black Banks has been fired. Azro Rose, the champion, our new executive. The golden ticket opportunity stealer. I'm shocked. Azro Rowe is our new champion. Azra Rowe is our new boss, Sticks! He's your new boss. I got no problem with Azzy. He likes me. I don't know what he's gonna do with you. He might take out the trash just like he did with Blake Banks. You might wanna do a little suck it up, round noser. Oh my god. I almost killed him last show. I know. I need to make some phone calls yeah, later. You might wanna, you might wanna go apologize like now. You're we probably still right. got a show to do. You can't go anywhere. You already kicked out my other partner. I guess I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna make those calls later. The Task Force just changed the whole establishment movement. Absolutely, they changed the whole face of the company in about 30 seconds. And now they have a shot at the finals of the Florida Tag Team Wrestling Championships. This is the first semifinal of tonight. It's going to be Task Force, well oiled machine. They have been teaming for years. Yes, they had a small break, but now they're back together. Stronger than ever, and I think Task Force are gonna be the new champs. Well, you heard it. The tag team specialist makes the call. He picked Task Force for the win. After the impact they just made on this whole production, on everyone backstage over here talking, the wrestlers, they have the momentum. And I think it's gonna be very hard to beat Task Force right now. They do have momentum. But! But these guys are no slouches, you know. No. About them. You cannot count out the Kentish brothers. Both of them moved to the US from Jamaica two years ago just to wrestle. They wrestled all over in Florida, in Texas. Well, talk about making that pilgrimage. Talk about making the wrestling pilgrimage. Because you and your best friend did the same thing from a little further away with the same goals and the same dreams with a different zip code. Yes, Tell sir. Me what that's like. Tell me the challenge. I can relate to the Kentish brothers. The Kentish brothers want this. They moved everything. They moved from everything for this, to wrestle, to prove that they belong at the highest level. And they have the energy, they have the swag, they have the charisma, they have the talent. And I think the Kentish brothers are a very, very good tag team. But right now, Task Force, like we said, they have all the momentum. So I want to see how a young team like the Kentish brothers will face Task Force that have way more experience than them. Well, you're looking at two basic brother tag teams. I mean, the Kentish brothers are brothers. Task Force has been brothers for a good five, six years now. Uh, it's be, it's going to be interesting to see the fluidity between these two teams. I'm interested in seeing the tag chemistry between the Kentish brothers compared to Task Force. Listen, I know 
out while you're out here. This is a tag team show. You're doing some scouting. It's fine. Just say that. It's Instead okay. of bullying my partner, just say, hey, look, I'm out here scouting. I want to say some words on the microphone. That's fine. You don't got to be a jerk about it. It is a tag show, and I am scouting the competition. Because like I said, we're a tag team, and we like to look. Oh, speaking of tag teams, the OTS are out here. Oh, here we go. Like we said, you cannot know what happened to the establishment. Out of nowhere, Ray Zion in the last match. Over here, LTS sitting in the front row, looking, scouting, trying to figure out the next move. Wait a minute. They gotta go buy tickets. This is not a free show. We don't do this for free. They won, so I think they, they have the benefit. I guess. DMC with some technicality, showing his talent. DMC was distracted for a second. And that's what happens when you turn your head inside that squared circle. Bad things happen when you're not paying attention. Oh. Here comes Mikey Spendick. Here come Hayden Kintish. And now Mikey has been leaning out. Mikey has been training day in and day out to be the best version of himself, to bring out the best version of Task Force. They have goals. They want to prove that they're the best. They want to prove that they're a great tag team, that they're brothers. And I think we're going to see if they can prove that tonight. Well, the Kentish brothers are, are younger in the game, but they're hungry. But don't think for one second that the task force, that task force isn't aware that they could slip on a banana peel and get a, little, get a loss here if they're not careful. Kentish brothers know what they're doing, however young they may be in the business. You're completely right. Task force are very very good we've locked horns with them before and let me tell you something about them they're very unexpected their movement their tag movement their chemistry they can bring stuff out that you cannot expect Hayden now with the top wrist lock I'm gonna try and control Mike Spanix there you see the strength of the core and the arms of Mike Spanix deep arm drag there follows oh. up in another one catches ah oh, wait I almost looks like he went for a oh a lucha arm drag oh. missed it Oh! Single leg drop kick. We had a small stir down, but Mikey rushed it, and now the Kentish Bros are on top. Kentish Brothers, quick tag here. Gonna hold the high ground. Task force on the outside. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Up and over. Oh my god! Oh, takes them both out like bowling pins. Hayden takes flight, and the Kentish Bros are on top over here in the establishment. Can you imagine the upset if the Kentish brothers can beat Task Force? The upset is going to be insane. The Kentish brothers, they did not even know they're going to tag tonight. They got the luck of the draw. They literally got the luck. That is the definition of the luck of the draw. Yeah. Task Force had some time to prepare for today. They had some time well, to be Mikey ready. Well, with the win, of course, picked DMC as his tag partner in this tournament. Semi-finals to determine the finals for the Florida Wrestling Tag Team Championships. I did not expect this, but the Kinder Bros are on top. You said they are younger. Maybe they've been doing it for a little less time. But they have the power, they have the energy, they have the drive. Well, and they don't have to talk to each other. They are brothers. Yes. They can read each other's minds almost. Yep. Mikey! Oh! What a big forearm shot! Forearm shot by Mr. Spandex. Oh! And the forearms Anthony as well. Task Force are in control. DMC with the core line. Oh my god. What a show of power by Mr. DMC. Oh, and the Kentish Bros are still alive. Gordon out with the forearm shots to the back of the head. Anywhere else that's illegal in professional wrestling, it's okay. Oh, but Task Force. They have the upper hand right now, and now they're going to do what they do best. They're going to split the ring in half. They're going to make sure the Kintish Bros cannot tag. They're going to make sure they stay in control. There's the tag team prowess, the veteran prowess of Task Force. DMC now cutting off the ring. Going to let him reach, but just teasing him. Reach, 
just oh. making fun of the heritage. DMC with the mind games, and let me tell you something, Sticks. Mind games and tag wrestling are very important because you need to make sure the guy on the apron, you need to feel him, you need to fool him, he needs to be teased. Well, if anybody would know, it's one half of Better Together. Ori Gold sitting beside me doing commentary here tonight at the establishment. This is the Lethal Lottery. Oh, oh my God! Huge Lariat by DMC! And that's why be it. Cover! For us, part of the finals! Oh, Hayden kicks out, but he's not in a good place. He's far away from Anthony. Mikey now just using his feet, using that leg pain. You've seen the videos of Mikey Spandex squatting online. He is a strong, strong man from the waist down. Forearm shots to the back of the head. Mikey's got to be careful here. If he gets this. Oh, Anthony had enough. Anthony had enough of this. They're beating up his brother. Oh my god, and DMC now taking advantage of that. Oh, That's. The disrespect by Task Force. The ref's back is turned. DMC in full control. Task Force has been doing it for a long, long time. And like I told you, Anthony got too heated and they took advantage of that. Here we go. Oh, an OTS. Looks like they're moving. Oh, you're bored? Yeah. yeah, it don't matter who we face at this match. We're going to be right. Okay. Okay. Well, OTS claiming victory. O OTS saying some words to us. I mean, I, I didn't do anything, so I don't know. They're, they must be mad at you. It's your fault. Probably. Look at the power. DMC, the strong suplex. The power, the strength of Task Force. Oh, and DMC, he hits Anthony out again. And Task Force. They want to finish this early. They do not want Anthony back in this match. Well, the longer it goes, you got to give the advantage to the Kendrick brothers. They're a little smaller, a little faster. Probably got a little bit more oxygen in those lungs. So they're going to be able to go a little longer. Oh, oh, oh the Task Force are playing dirty. Mikey on the outside. You got to watch your back. They want to win this match. They want to move on to the finals. Well, they want to win the new tag team championships. I mean, you're a tag team. Don't you want to be tag team champion? What do you say? I'm sorry. So, you're a tag team, so don't you guys want to win the tag team titles? Of course we want to win the tag team titles. Okay. But so right now, do? we're not I mean, in the tournament. I, I, I know you would do whatever it takes. I've seen you do whatever it takes. I've called your matches before. I know who you are. And these people listening to you talk might think you're a great guy. I am a great guy. I am a great guy that has a great best friend, and together we're better together. You are but better together. As this DMC match is Task Force versus the Kentus Brothers. Stomps out one half of the Kentus Brothers. Mikey Spandex in off the fresh tag. This is classic Task Force. They feel themselves. They know they're strong. Oh! The teamwork, the chemistry. Oh, the torpedo! <laughs> This is Mikey's opportunity and DMC to finish the Kentish Brothers. The double team. And a cover and a kick out. The Kentish Bros are still alive, but I don't know how much Aiden has left in his tank. Aiden's he needs gonna have to make the tag. He's going to have to do something. He needs to find a way to get to Anthony somehow, Otherwise, in some way. The ref is going to have to check his pulse. <laughs> DMC just working over the body, not putting him on the top rope. I don't care what a kind of high flyer you are. If you're in the wrong business, in the wrong way, in the wrong neighborhood, you're going to get hurt that high up. It's just physics. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, they call that gravity. What goes up must come down. Hayden is in a very, very dangerous spot. He needs to find a way out of this. You know, he's trying to find out now. Oh, a headbutt. big headbutt. Oh, and he kicks like this. He Smart. has to take advantage. He's he has right to now. get it. Very oh, close, man. buddy. Both men down. Middle of the ring. This is Hayden's opportunity. Spot the finals on the line for the Florida Tag Team Championships. He needs to get Anthony in the ring real quick. He needs to do it right now. He's got to make that tag. DMC trying to hang onto the foot. You see it. Four. 
And he gets in! Everybody is in! Here we go, two freshmen in! Oh, Everybody with the punches, the jabs! Oh! Big right from Anthony! Big up, Mikey! Body slam to Mikey! Oh! He can feel it! He feel the energy! Oh! And he's gonna hit him with a big leg drop! Massive leg drop from the top rope cover! Mikey Spendix is still in this match, but the momentum has shifted. Absolutely, the Kentish brothers in full control of the veterans. Semi-finals here for the tag team tournament. Oh. Mikey fights off both. Oh! oh! What a neck breaker off the knees. The code breaker into the neck breaker. And now Aiden, what is you have in mind? He goes to the top. Oh, Big blood saw! One, two. Oh, oh my God! And a kick out. DMC saves Task Force. They're still in this, but the Kintish brothers—they have all of the momentum. This is awesome. DMC now reverses it, throws him out. Task Force holding the high ground, holding the numbers two on one. Going for the mission accomplished. Nope. Gonna help Mikey back to his feet. Or at least drag him to the corner. Oh, you see? This is why they're a great tag team. DMC recognized Mikey is not in a state to get up. So he dragged him to his corner just to have the legal tag. Now, Task Force are back in control. DMC is gonna hold Hayden, and he's in a lot of trouble. Oh, Anthony holds him. Anthony fights out now. Oh! oh! There it is. Mission accomplished. Over and out. Oh! What? I thought that was three for sure. Anthony with a spear for the ropes from Mikey for the pin. And somehow the Kintish bros are still alive. Breaks it up just by accident, by happenstance. Oh, this match can go anywhere now. I am not sure anymore who's going to win. Yeah, you, both these teams have given everything they've got to each other and neither one can pull a victory. This match is insane. We were talking about the Kentish Bros and their journey. Task Force and their journey. Every single team over here wants to be the first cha tag team champions. So let's see who's going to come up with the hand on top. For a spot in the finals, tag team titles on the line. Hockey fight over here in the establishment stage. Oh, Hockey nice. fight! Pure sex brawl. Oh, Mikey's down. DMC outnumbered here. Kinders bros, they need to take this opportunity. They have to capitalize. Oh! Oh, oh big cutter! Oh my god! Again! Oh! Mikey, with a move that I have never seen before, picks up Hayden. Just a, just a shove. Oh my god, what are they doing here? They do the power. Neck oh! breaker. Cover. And Task Force with. Task Force with the victory. They conquered, the battle plan was effective. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the establishment. This is when the lethal lottery. We have our main event up next. Stick around.